Hey everyone, Andrigats here and welcome back to my channel! Ah, uh, it's that time of the year again! Referring of course to Winter's Veil, WoW's addition to Christmas which if played strategically can lead to some serious in-game gold, especially when you have an army of Alts. So today I'm here to guide you through every step of the way to make the most out of this event and make lots and lots of gold. So let's jump right in! Winter Veil spans about two and a half weeks, kicking off in late December and wrapping up after New Year's. The key to making gold during this event is by completing four easy daily quests exclusive to your garrison. And that's right, I'm talking about garrison, guys. From each quest you complete, you get merry supplies, a currency which you can trade for a savage gift. Inside this gift, there is a slim chance around 3%, according to Wahed, to obtain the minion of Krambus, which is what we're going after. Sure, it's not the prettiest mount out there, but here's the catch. It's sellable on the auction house and you can only get it during Winter Vale. Imagine a new player joining in the summer. Their only route to this mount is through the auction house, making it super desirable as the year goes on. On top of that, the Savage Box also has a chance to contain other useful items, like the Medallion of the Legion, a very valuable item that grants reputation to Draenor factions, and the Follower Upgrade item. Both of these can be sold on the auction house, ensuring that even if you don't find the mount, there's still a chance to make something out of it. It also drops garrison resources and oil, but uh, that's something we want to avoid in this case. To start the daily grind, the most crucial requirement is having a level 3 garrison. Without it, you won't have any access to the necessary dailies, and I hate to break it to you, but there are no shortcuts here. Unfortunately, you can't use a friend's garrison, it must be yours and at level 3. So a bit of effort is needed before you can jump into the daily farm, but once you do that, you are all set. If you already have a level 3 in garrison, then you're good to go. However, for those without one, or for those who are looking to build garrisons on their alts, here's how you can do it. Just a word of advice here, it's best to be on a 40 level character for this and the reason behind that is being 40 is one of the key requirements for upgrading your garrison to tier 3, so might as well do it from now. Once that's settled, you can start working on the garrison questline. In the past you had to go through the Draenor intro, but luckily there is an easy way to skip it now which allows you to jump right into building your garrison. And we have two ways to make this skip, you can either talk to Chromie and choose the Draenor timeline, or you can visit the Warboard in your capital and choose the Tanan Jungle. Either of these starts the quest Warlords of Draenor, the Dark Portal, but you have to be very careful as to not mess this up. So follow where the quest indicates, so talk to the NPC, go to Blasterlands, but don't talk to Katkar at any cost, and most importantly, don't complete this quest. Simply abandon it once you are close to the area, pass through the portal, and voila, you'll find yourself right near your garrison. Don't forget to enable the tracking option for low-level quests to be able to see them on your map and screen. Go through a quick questline to construct your garrison and then the only thing left is to upgrade it to level 3. As you progress through the questline, you'll reach the point where you need to upgrade your garrison to tier 2, which requires only 200 resources. That is easily achievable, I would say, but the next step, however, is a lot harder. That's to make it level 3 and it has three requirements. One, to be level 40, as we already went over. Secondly, to have 2,000 resources. And lastly, you need 5,000 gold. Now, don't be too stingy with the gold. The potential earnings from finding and selling ground boost far outweighs the investment. Now, the only setback is to find the 2,000 garrison resources. A good way to start doing that is by killing 7 rares that drop between 100 and 200 supplies each. Three of them can be found in a grant on the top left side and the other four are scattered around Tanam Jungle. The respawn timer is very quick, so if someone already killed them, just hang tight for a few minutes and they'll spawn soon. By doing that, you can easily get a total of around 1000 supplies each day. While you are flying around, kill as many rares as you find along the way and open treasures. Not all of them drop resources, but some of them do and give roughly 10 to 35. On top of that, there are notable easy to get items around Draenor that ground resources on use. They can give from 25 to 100 so it can really add up. Having the Handy Nodes add-on is very useful in this case as it highlights both the treasures and rares location on the map. 
From digging around the internet, I stumbled upon another resource gathering method, which is looting suspiciously in glowing chests. There are 12 spawn points in total that can be found inside a cave in Tanan Jungle. You can run through the cave and find 3 to 4 boxes, each granting 20 to 75 supplies. And you can do the run twice, once with war mode on and once without. Also, don't forget to loot the chest next to your garrison town hall, which builds up resources over time. If you are patient enough, you can get up to 500 in just 3 days. Of course, completing quests and sending followers on missions is another way to acquiring supplies, but all of these take time. Speaking of missions, there is one with potential to yield an item called the Huge Ogre Cache. This item grants 1000 resources on use and can be sent to Alts, or even can be bought in the Ocean House, although it might be a bit pricey. With a bit of time and effort, you should be able to gather your 2000 resources and get your garrison to tier 3. This unlocks the daily quest for Wintervale and thus the potential to get the mount. Alright, so the actual dailies. They are 4 in total and you can get them from either Pitzel if you are Horde or Almi if you are Alliance. And trust me, they are very, very, very easy to do. Even as a Holy Priest, apparently I forgot to change to Shadow, <laughs> uh, it takes less than 5 minutes to zip through them, with the flying included. So imagine how fast they can be. The mobs here do scale with your level, so there is no one-shotting everything, but it's usually packed with people so just stack the mobs and just keep rolling. Upon completion, you'll receive a total of 5 merry supplies, which are just what you need to purchase the savage gift. If you are not max level though, consider sending them all to a level 70 character. There is a tiny possibility that this mount is only accessible to max level characters, and since Marys are account wide, you can stack them up on one character. This not only adds a layer of excitement as you open them all at once, but also ensures you don't miss out on the chance to get the mount. So all you need to do is park all your eligible tunes in their garrisons, complete the Wintervale dailies, use your garrison hearthstone to return and mail the Marys to one character. You can also speed this up by using the Leatrix Plus add-on, it basically automates the acceptance and completion of quests, saving you valuable time. It's a must-have add-on when dealing with multiple alts daily and cuts down a lot of hassle. And speaking of alts, if you are thinking to make more alts for this, I would advise to go for Horde ones, as it significantly cuts down on flying time. The Horde garrison is only a minute away from the quest area, while the Alliance counterpart is further away. It's basically on the other side of Draenor. However, if you are Alliance, you can create a shortcut by building a mage tower in your garrison. As soon as the building finishes, accept the quest Ogre Wake Gates, where you need to gather 25 waystones from ogres. A quick way to do it is by killing mobs in the stone mall area of Gorgrond, which is just packed with ogres. Once you get them all, which honestly takes a minute or two, head to Frostfar Ridge, activate the way gate and just like that you have unlocked an easy way to the area. This unfortunately is a one-way portal, so after completing the dailies just use your garrison to return back home. Even if you are Alliance, there is a bit of a workaround to make things easier, but uh, once you've set it up, there is no reason to envy Horde players. In essence, it takes roughly 5 minutes to complete the dailies, offering a solid chance at obtaining the mount, and if you do have multiple ads, the odds stack up significantly, increasing your daily chance further. In my realm, it seems it's going quite high at the moment, so I could potentially sell it as soon as I get it. But if in your server is not going as much, maybe holding on to it and waiting for the right time is the clever thing to do. You can easily see that for yourself through the Undermine Exchange site. This platform displays the total quantity and price over the span of a year, allowing you to decide the best time to sell based on your region and server economy. For example, waiting until next summer or fall could significantly boost its value. It's all about playing the long game here, and patience is the key. And uh, that's all guys, that's how you can make the most out of the Winter's Veil. And hey, even if you don't really care about gold, you can still use this way to get a mount for your personal collection. As always, thank you so much for watching my content and drop a like if you have found this video helpful. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell. You can also find me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash games where I'm mostly streaming World of Warcraft. Good luck with whatever you're doing and I will see you all on the next one. Bye!